Here we see some consonants that are non-pulmonic. So that means that they're not made with air coming out of the lungs um, in the same way that we saw uh, previously. Um, these consonants are things like clicks, which are found in some African languages. Uh, implosives, which are made with airflow actually going into the lungs, the air being breathed in. Um, English doesn't really do that. Um, the only time we ever speak while breathing in is when we're uh, usually things like counting to ourselves. So we might, if we're counting money or something, we might do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifty, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. And so in the middle, when we need to take a breath, we breathe in and keep talking because we're not really using speech in the um, typical way. The last set is ejectives. Um, I can do some ejectives for you in um, syllables. Uh, the uh, uh, Amharic, which is the language spoken in Ethiopia, uses ejectives. Um, they have um, they have all of these. Um, let's do the velar, which is made in the back. Um, uh, I'll do a set of syllables. E, u, e, a, e, e, o. That is sort of like a k sound that we have with an, um, an accompanying um, um, burst of air at the level of the glottis. And so you hear those two qualities combined. Um, and these are the non-pulmonic consonants. We'll look at these later on in the course.